morning everyone. I'm just heading to the start point of a 55, 55 mile loop to um, Hartford. So all in all with the uh, 30 mile return journey to the start point. It's going to end up with about 82, 84 plus mile ride altogether. And this is the last long ride to get under my belt before I ride London next week. <laughs> You finished? If you don't know where you're going in this um, village, Olympic village, you can easily get lost. It's, it is like a maze. Even though it's, it's spread out over such a big area, even to say to people, oh, meet me at a particular landmark, like the velodrome, unless you've got it on your sat nav or whatever, it is very hard to find. And even though I've, you know, I've been here several times, if I don't go a particular way that I know without having to put it on my computer, I'll get lost. Just like this morning, I said, you know what, I'm not going to put the route in. I'm going to try and make it from home to the velodrome without the aid of my computer or sat nav. And when I got off the CS2 cycle path, I don't know, I drew a blank. But well, I'm here now anyway. I've got the box. Yeah, I've got the box. I need a new chain as well, but you said, oh. Joe and Jessica. We're like early, mate. Yeah, early birds. Nine. Oh, really? Because really? well, I didn't want to miss it. Oh. Sam said, "Don't talk to me. I'm spinning. No, 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 no. I'm spinning." Yeah. Sun's out, legs out. No, I got my legs out all the time. What are you doing? Last time you did that, you didn't. No, but you knocked them out of your legs out. Put them away. Put them away. It's like Miley Shmira back on the block. It's like coordinated. <laughs> she got coordinated. Well, the secret is you got to coordinate. Uh huh. Put it in a pace line. Stay on the wheel as close as you can in front of the rider. The more we're able to stay together as a group, the quicker we'll get there as a group, and the more that we'll enjoy the ride. That's the most important thing. It's not about speed. It's about getting there and getting back and having a decent ride. So. Right, right, <laughs> Welcome to Leighton Stone. <laughs> I've forgotten what it feels like to ride without a gilet on. We've got some good weather, the sun is out, just over there somewhere. And um, got a bit of a headwind. Man, what's going on? What's going on? Good. Killing me again. Yeah. <laughs> The route that we're on is actually, I recognise it as part of the route for Ride London. Ah, and we're back on these beautiful country lanes again. I don't know where I am, but it's nice, tranquil, therapeutic, peaceful, calm. And it feels like a really long time since I've on a ride without a gilet. Right, we just stopped to regroup and um, I've just realised that we actually are in, still in Epping Forest. A couple of people have um, stopped for a toilet break. As you can see, there's toilets all over the gaff. But Joe, what did you call, what do you refer to it as? Irrigation for the nation. I'm going to have to use that one. I like that. <laughs> 
walks her on a and, um, and she's like, who are you anyway? He's like, my name's Jersey. B. And she's like... She, she wouldn't know who no, she's dead. <laughs> well, you know, she's like, she would never have heard of Soldier's Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was so embarrassed, can you imagine? <laughs> 23 or so. Wow. So Joe used to live next door to Soul to Soul Studio That's right. for like over, what, 30 years? Yes, 30 years ago. Incredible. Imagine that. I know. And she saw... Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson and her mum. Come, was it Janet Jackson your mum confronted? No, my mum's like to Jazzy, you can't pass. Oh, she said, oh, to Jazzy B. <laughs> Not having a clue who Jazzy was, her mum told Jazzy, you can't park here, mate. You can't park there, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. <laughs> right, just thought I'd come and do a bit of irrigating for the nation. Or irrigation for the nation, as Joe referred to it as. In uh, this public toilet known as Epping Forest. When I grow up, I want to get me a bike like this. I was just saying, Sam, when I grow up, I want to get a bike like this. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a Pinarello Prince. Yeah, look at that. Prince. His, his nickname is the Black Hawk. The, bla <laughs> the Black Hawk. <laughs> Finally, we're on the move again. We're waiting for. Um, Someone that got a double puncture. They're still back there. Apparently the tyres slashed. Apparently, so I don't, I don't see how they can continue. But one of the guys is going back for him. But um, yeah, I don't anticipate seeing him for the rest of the ride. My combination of works for me is sweets, peanut butter sandwiches, and Snickers. <laughs> Just them three, and, and I'm good. Chocolate, sweets, yeah. and sandwich. As long as I've got those on the go and plenty of liquids, I'm good. I'm sure we only got a few miles to go. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And it's a decent pace as well, which suits me. Split into uh, two groups, because it's fairly obvious that as we're riding, the group kind of naturally split. So we formally split into two groups. And I stayed with the slow group. Um, ended up having to lead for a while. But then um, we caught up the fast group because one of them got a puncture. So we decided to carry on the head. And we're now trying to get to our destination before they get a chance to catch us. Brompton crew. Yeah, loving the Brompton crew. Yes, guys. We arrived at Hartford Town Centre. Made it before the fast group had, had arrived. And there's a nice, decent pace. It's time for some fish and chips and a pint of cider. Oh, nice of you to join us, fellas. No food, or have you ordered it? Just got it then. Man's well, been in there like 45 minutes when they saw it. What's wrong? You know, normally a cup. No, I'm just letting you know. It was a no, it's no. You know what? A bit of the tyres. Yeah, and I say something, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a snap. Oh, I'm just sitting there minding my business you know? and drinking my cider. What after 45 minutes, set your legs out for what? For me to get in quicker than you? 
I felt for him, but no, I know. Right, he didn't want to put two in, so the level was done. Like it did. Yeah, I've been eating sweeties, and that's fine. She's fine. So Wayne, in the yellow cap there, he's just offered one of these egg sandwiches that he's eating. So we're like saying, no. And we need to make sure if he eats both of those, we need to make sure we're not we're not draft we're not. Because to be drafting him after he's eating those egg sandwiches mm -mm, is not a good look or a good smell. If the people in front of you don't stop working, you can't catch up. No, I'm just saying, if they don't stop working, you can't catch up. If they fall off, then you catch up. I think you can. Say again? I think you can. Because there's a sweet spot. Yeah. You're not going to get bit up, bit up, bit up. You're just going to get to your No, yeah. you're, I'm you're, still, you're, still waiting for my pub grub. That wasn't there. That, yeah, exactly. And I'm not leaving until I get my pub grub because I'm, like I'm proper yeah. Hank Marvin right now. I didn't see that. No. Right, been fed and watered. It's time to hit the road again. Head back home. Ken, what are you saying? Um, good ride, good people, albeit with Mr. Oh, Eat yourself. <laughs> 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 surface is like a little mini version of the Paris Roubaix. It's horrible. It's very bumpy. This is the steepest one so far. Another three more climbs after this I think. up in forest now scenery. I might actually take up cycling, you know. <laughs> It's gilet time. I can feel the temperature just, just, a, just a little bit. So let me um, wrap up now. So we've all managed to regroup. 
most of us, bar one. Um, it's just a bit further back. Um, got a buckled wheel. We're on Epping Road or Epping New Road. It's a few miles out from Stratford. And when I get to Stratford, it's another 14, nearly 15 miles till I'm back um, to Mikasa. There you have it. Back where we started this morning at the Belladrome. I'll see y'all next week on Ride London. Whenever the show, 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 whenever